The mobile phone market moves so quickly, it's really hard to keep up with what's happening. But this year's new crop of phones is smarter and sexier than last year's. Take this for example, this is the Motorola V3i, and it's the latest version of our favourite phone from last year, the V3 Razer. What's different about it? Well, for a start, it's got a 1.3 megapixel camera in it, and also, it has a space for a tiny memory card, and that means you can use it to store movies or music. In fact, in many places in the world, this comes preloaded with the iTunes music software. Unfortunately, in the UK, it's actually really hard to get a phone that does have iTunes on it. LG has given us an exclusive peek at two of their forthcoming phones, uh, and they're really pretty impressive. First up is this one. It's codenamed Chocolate, and it's already proved hugely successful in Korea, where it's selling more than 4,000 units every week. It's not hard to see why. It's a fantastic bit of design. It's only a GPRS phone, but it's got everything you'd expect, uh, including a megapixel camera and an MP3 player. But the important thing is the design. It just looks fantastic, and it's got this little touch-sensitive display at the front, which allows you to control the phone even when the keypad is closed. Now, the specs for the UK launch haven't been confirmed yet, but one thing's for sure, it's going to be a success. And this is the snappily titled U890i. It's a follow-up to the U880, which was the first 3G clamshell that didn't have a severe weight problem. And this one is even thinner. In fact, it's the thinnest 3G phone in Europe. But it's not light on features. It's got this swivelling 1.3 megapixel camera that works for video calls as well as stills. And it's also got a built-in MP3 player with a memory card that allows you to store over 100 songs on the phone. But the best feature has got to be the inclusion of a new version of Bluetooth that allows you to stream music from the handset to a pair of wireless stereo headphones. Sony Ericsson's P990 is shaping up to be one of the big smartphones of 2006. This is just a prototype and it's not fully working, but on paper it looks really good. It looks similar on the outside to the old P910, but inside it's got Wi-Fi and 3G, hence the video camera on the front. It's also got an improved stills camera. This is two megapixels. And if you flip this down, it's got a whole new keyboard that makes text messaging and emailing much, much easier. It's also got a touch screen, and because it runs a Symbian operating system, you can add your own applications. Of course, it's got an MP3 player and an MP4 player too. It is a fantastic phone, but it's going to face some stiff competition from this, the N80 from Nokia. This is Nokia's 3G smartphone, and although it doesn't have a touch-sensitive screen or a QWERTY keypad, it is much smaller than the P990 and it has a 3 megapixel camera. That's good enough for print quality pictures. But the best thing has got to be the fact that this is the first ever phone to be compatible with universal plug and play. That means it will automatically find any wireless home entertainment kit you've got and stream content to it. So you can send music to your hi-fi or wirelessly stream video to your television. It's an incredible device, which is why the N80 is my tip for the top in 2006. This week, a Gadget Show exclusive. We go behind the scenes at Microsoft headquarters. 